Hi, I'm Everett Gunther and this is Ultra Dynamic Sky. Ultra Dynamic Sky is a flexible and easy to use sky system for Unreal Engine 4, providing dynamic moving clouds and time of day for your project in minutes. Its features include customizable multi-layered dynamic clouds with more than a dozen settings at your disposal. For example, you can adjust cloud coverage all the way from a clear blue sky to full overcast. The day and night animation system creates a complete dynamic time of day experience with a single click. The stars and the moon will come out at night. You can adjust things like their color and brightness and you can even adjust the moon's phase. The sun and the moon can both project moving cloud shadows down onto your scene. If you choose, you can even enable aurora effects at night. And now, starting with Unreal Engine 4.24, Ultra Dynamic Sky is integrated with UE4's Sky Atmosphere function by default to provide more realistic coloring through atmospheric scattering. It also comes with built-in lights for the sun, moon, and skylight, so it's faster than ever to add realistic dynamic lighting to your scenes. Getting started with Ultra Dynamic Sky is designed to be as simple and quick as possible. It's really just a drag and drop process. Here I am in a blank scene with nothing but a single ground plane. No lights, fog, or a default skybox. Navigate to the Ultra Dynamic Sky folder and find Ultra Dynamic Sky BP inside the Blueprints folder. Just drag that blueprint into the scene and there you go. The sky will default to using its built-in lights, so the whole scene has lighting synced up with the sky, just like that. Now let's take a quick overview of the settings on the blueprint. Here in Basic Controls, you have access to things like the time of day, the overall brightness, and the saturation. There's also a checkbox here to disable the sky atmosphere integration and revert to the legacy coloring system that old versions of Ultra Dynamic Sky used. The Animate Time of Day section is where you can simulate a full day-night cycle. Just check Animate Time of Day and adjust the day and night length as you choose. The Clouds section has all the settings you'll need to tailor the clouds to your project. Coverage, opacity, lighting effects, and more. Here, you can also turn on animation as well to make cloud coverage change dynamically over time. The Sun section covers both the look of the sun and the path it takes across the sky. This is also where you can make changes to the sun's light intensity. The Moon and Stars section has settings like color and intensity for both effects, plus settings for how and when the moon crosses the sky. You can also select a custom moon texture if you want. The Aurora section allows you to enable or disable the Aurora effects, as well as change their speed and brightness. In the Skylight section, you can enable an option to recapture the skylight periodically to keep the ambient light in sync as the time of day changes. The Exposure setting allows you to easily set a min and max camera exposure setting for your scene, or disable the setting completely. Here in the Lights and Fog section, you can override the built-in light and fog components and replace them with your own actors in the level, if you want, or you can disable any of them altogether. In Advanced settings, you'll find some manual values which the Blueprint normally takes care of on its own. Just disable the checkbox at the top of this section to use them. But note that most of these settings are only relevant when using legacy coloring. If you run into problems or need help achieving something specific, please get in touch with me personally at evertgunther at gmail.com. I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll consider Ultra Dynamic Sky for your next project.